So TB, or tuberculosis, kills more people than any other infectious disease in the world. In 2017, around 10 million people got sick with TB and about 1.6 million people died. So it's an incredibly severe disease that impacts many people across the world. And really, if you look at the numbers, they're only very, very slowly declining through the world over the last few years. One of the reasons why it's so hard to control TB is because it's really hard to diagnose and treat. And the only way that we're going to get better at diagnosing and treating this infection is through really good, high quality research. In our country, uh, we're seeing the number of TB cases reduce gradually uh, over time, but the number of MDR cases increased rapidly in recent years. Our group uh, focus on, um, I think, two, we have two aims. The first thing is we, we, we want to improve diagnosis and treatment for TB patients. The second thing is we, we now try to understand about the immune system in the patient so that we can use it to find a better way to treat and to reduce the TB burden uh, in the country. My research is about uh, antibiotic susceptibility of clinical uh, MTB isolates. This we use techniques like uh, drug susceptibility test as well as whole genome sequencing to associate the drug susceptibility with the uh, resistant or tolerant determinants and how it influences treatment outcome. Multi-drug resistant TB is a dangerous disease because we cannot use normal drugs to treat it. To treat multi-drug resistant TB, doctors have to use a lot of drugs for a very long time, but it does not guarantee that the patient can recover. And it's also very hard to predict who will win or who will fail in the treatment. So in my study, we try to identify the factors that influence the treatment outcome of the patients. So the more we understand about this disease, the higher chance we have of winning. Here at Oak Group, we are conducting two large clinical trials to try to improve patient outcomes in this disease. The first trial, we are looking at patients with HIV infection and TB meningitis. The second trial, we are testing patients without HIV infection, but we're looking at a gene called LTA4H and variations in this gene decide how much of an inflammatory response you will have when you get to TB meningitis. So research is really, really important, but it's not just about um, biomedical research into diagnosis and treatment. TB is a disease of poverty, it's a disease of, of, of societal breakdown, and therefore we really need to understand how TB affects those poorer societies and how new uh, interventions to diagnose and treat them will be implemented in those societies. So research is essential, uh, but action is too, and we really need concerted both scientific and political action to solve this disease. Mm -hmm.